All right, Shalom. I like to say Kahalayim, Wahawadla, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Double honesty, apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and blessing to the Akim Rony Willa pushes shoot to the four corners of the earth. Dominating headlines around the world, protests over the death of George Floyd while being detained by Minneapolis police have raged for a third night. Late on Thursday night, a local police station was set on fire. <laughs> Police say protesters forced their way into the building and set it on fire. Personnel have been evacuated from the precinct beforehand. The city of Minneapolis via social media said there were unconfirmed reports gas lines leading to the building have been cut. It advises people to leave the area. The protests calling for justice for George Floyd have spread from Minneapolis to other cities. I know there's so much prophecies you're seeing in one in one small in, in just a few clips you see an uproars of the people you understand you see a neighbor turning against neighbor you see an um, invading houses you see a, a, a short clip of somebody looting you understand all these things is prophecy while at the same time all these things must must um must have it must complete an agenda because um I see Apostle Zaha did a video I haven't watched it yet but the video was titled Order Out of Chaos. Also, as um the same way I'm gonna entitle this video. Because these these are things that the higher ups going and use to enforce more things on the people. Because that's what they do. Anytime something happens, some kind of chaos or event happens, they use that to actually implement things to have more control over the people. Just like they did for 9-11. You understand? They created more rules against the citizens. The same thing for Corona. And now for these uproars are going to be even worse. These things might even be able to, you know, initial martial war. You know, to actually kick it off. Who knows? You know, the Lord the Lord has his time and when he's going to actually make these things actually happen. But all these things are gateways. All these all these different types of chaos are just gateways for them to actually implement order. Which is not really order, but their version of order. Whereas more control over the people. George Floyd died on Monday. A bystander filmed his arrest. The video shows Floyd pleading with an officer who is kneeling on his neck. A warning. Before I jump to that, say Zechariah um, 14. I'll start from 12, right? I'll start from 12. You see, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. It say their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And it's referring to what that, that nuclear destruction are going to come when the war when the war actually start properly. Okay, now we had it had, it had symptoms of the war now. World War Three, the scriptures talk about the third war coming quickly. But when that war actually initialized and you start to see missiles flying, you understand that is what going to happen to all these people. That nuclear destruction going to melt them away, and that is what we're referring to here. And that is what we always talk. We off the men of the Lord is often talk about that you know a prophecy that going and happen i read verse 13 it says and it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult right now let me look at the word tumult tumult right a great tumult it says a state of noisy confusion oh Right, a state of a state of noisy confusion or disorder, a state of great mental or emotional confusion. So definition one disorderly agitation 
or milling about of a crowd usually with uproar and confusion of, of voices and that is what you're seeing happening right now and not just in America uh, primarily in America but it have it all around the world similar things right because all these things are prophecy being fulfilled scriptures say all prophecy must be fulfilled right so when you hear people talking up when you hear people talking against prophecy and they're saying that this shouldn't happen and that shouldn't happen that mean they're not of the lord because all the prophecies all the prophecies that the lord stated must be fulfilled right including the destruction of the heathens including event um leading to eventually the complete annihilation of esau all these prophecies must be fulfilled if somebody against that then they are not of the lord it's a um a turbulent uprising right it's a violent agitation of mind or feeling a violent outburst <laughs> right and all these things going on right now it says in um, verse 13, Zechariah 14, 13, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor. Right? Uprising of the people and all these different things, brother, uh, neighbor fighting against neighbor and so forth. And his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. All these things come into pass in small ways. And these are just the beginning parts of it. It didn't even reach the parts yet where people have absolutely nothing to eat and they had a, you know, like Book of Eli shit. Or the road. It didn't reach that level yet. And it, people already find it bad now. So imagine when it reached to that point. How terrible it's going to be. You may find the following scenes distressing. I think we are the officer kept his knee there for almost 10 minutes until Floyd stopped responding. On the day of the incident, police said he matched the description of a suspect in a forgery case and that he resisted arrest. The four officers involved... Now people doesn't understand is that police does have training before they actually get into the force. You understand? They just have a mental training, a mental break-in. Like when you see police being trained to be a particular way, Majority of the time you see police before they went into the force, they just be a completely different person before they actually come out of the force because they have a mental break in that they just receive from the people that are training them to be a certain way. Now he trained to be how he is. Why it is he doesn't do that to white people? You understand? Some people doesn't understand a lot of these police officers that's being in Ku Klux clans and all these different things. And they trained not to like blacks some people might say it's just coincidence and so forth these people are trained to have self self-restraint they are trained to be a certain way it's not a coincidence that these police officers are just be doing these things to so-called black people these things and i don't believe in coincidences these things are not a coincidence he wouldn't just need long on a guy's neck for 10 minutes for no reason that he could have even, he could have even been instructed to do that who knows? You know, these people have their agendas to fulfill. And you know how it works, problem and solution. You create a problem and then you create a solution to fix the problem. So who knows if he could have even been sent to do that. Just to, just to cause an uproar, just so that they could solve the uproar. These people just think on different steps. It's not just, you know, these people just actually plan shit. Just like with the 9-11 and all these different things. They just sit down and plan these things. They just create a chaos and then create the order out of the chaos. So who knows? ...have been fired. The one who was pinning Floyd to the floor has been identified as Derek Chauvin. He was previously investigated over another death, a fatal shooting in 2006, as well as over a, another shooting, a, other shooting incidents in 2008 and 2011. Another policeman identified in the video... So you see, he was he, he, he has so much um, investigations against him for different shootings. And if it had been investigated, that obviously means it was wrongful shootings or whatever. 10 to 1 not not shootings of white guys but still he was in the force you understand things like that things like this doesn't add up 
Tokyo Total have reportedly been sued in the past over excessive use of force. Activist Michelle Gross told us the police think they can act with impunity. It's essential that these that these officers face murder charges. Um, you know, in fact, though, that not just should they face murder charges, but they should be arrested right now. One of the reasons that people in the community are so upset is because these officers are still running the streets, and these are dangerous men. And they're running the streets, uh, they haven't been arrested, and if any of us had been videotaped murdering a man, we would all be in the jail waiting for our trials. We are not going to be able to calm the community down at all until we see that these officers are arrested. These officers really have a, f a sense of, you know, impunity, that there's nothing going, you know, that there will face no consequences for their conduct. And that's kind of their usual feeling, is they have a sense of impunity. He literally was smiling for the camera as he was mean Mr. Floyd in the neck. He was practically smiling for the camera, knowing that people were re recording him. He had no problem with that because he was more than certain that he was going to get away with it. And why it is he probably had that certain probably had that, that certainty because who knows i'm not saying it is but probably that was his instructions you understand remember a lot of these a lot of these did say um i think in the uk they say one out of tr every three officers are masons you understand a lot of these people is have their agendas and that is being different things so you could never tell because that's been the history in minneapolis President Donald Trump reacted to the incident, saying he expected his Attorney General to look into the matter. I asked the Attorney General, FBI, and the Attorney General to take a very strong look and to see what went on, because that was a very, very bad thing that I saw. The Department of Justice has made the investigation a top priority and has assigned experienced prosecutors and FBI criminal investigators to the matter. Former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura told us that while it's difficult to look at Minneapolis burning, he understands the, emo the, motivate, the motivation of those protesting. Where you see the rioting take place on Lake Street in Minnehaha, that's my old neighborhood. I'm all for protesting. The thing that you got to remember is I, as a white person, still can't understand what these black people are going through. And let me give you a quick example. I have a friend who's a PhD, he's the head of the Sounds of Blackness, a Grammy Award winning musical group, and he lives in Minneapolis. He said before he drives, he's a black man, before he drives his car at night, he puts his license here, his insurance here, he puts his car registration here, so he doesn't have to reach for anything. I looked at him and said, are you kidding me? I've been driving in Minnesota for 50 years, and I have never, that thought has never even entered my mind. That's what the white people need to understand. We don't get it because it's never been part of our lives like it is with these black people. And that is why when people talk about blacks and whites are treated the same or to have, you know, equality in certain things, Yes, even back in slavery days, it had house niggers who had privileges, but at the same time, it was never viewed as equal. Why? Because there is no equality in life. One race will never be completely the same to another. No matter which race ruled in the past, one was always superior to the other at some point. It is never have an equal playing field for anything. So when people like to say that blacks and whites have the same opportunities, it's true they have similar opportunities, but they will never be viewed as the same. They will never be viewed as the same. The ruling, the ruling nation will always view themselves differently to the others. Always. The Greeks never viewed themselves the same as the Persians. The Romans never viewed themselves the same as the Greeks. Um, when Nebuchadnezzar ruled in Babylon, they never viewed themselves the same as Israel or the people that they conquered. That, that shit don't happen. So these people who are on top, which are um, primary, even though right now we're under the curses, so all the other nations above us, but primarily Esau, they don't view us the same as them. You understand? But, you know, right now you're seeing what? You're seeing uproars. And all these things are signs at the end. And right now it has so many signs going on of the end happening at the same exact time. You know, all these things are nice, got good things to see. This just shows us that we're getting steps and steps closer to the end.
You understand? Well, I hope you guys had a fine. With that, I say shalom.